Hey guys, I know I was just on, but I want to add something, okay? I wanted to add, because I know Susie, you said that um, you just have a hard time um, with the overthinking and self-sabotage and all that stuff. Okay, so we are the Oracle. We have all the answers, but there are some, there are a couple tools that I have grown to love that have, that help me. Um, again, it acts as pulling it out of us, like acting as a mirror or, um, being able to be like an extension to, to be able to find the answers. We have to have help, right? So I wanted to add this with my, with the training earlier, because I think this is super, super important. So the first time, the thing that, that, that was the catalyst or that had my journey going was this, right? I found it at a garage sale. Um, and so it's a self meditation book. You can buy this on Amazon. I think this is the second one because I gave the first one to my sister, but this is what started. So when you're self coaching, right, you, you create a self coaching ritual to where you sit down every day and you're actually sitting with intention of, 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 of healing and, um, and raising your vibration, right? You sit with that intention. And so this is one of the tools. This is one of my favorites. Another one is of course crystals. Okay. These are, these are amazing tools for, um, for balancing out your energy and clearing energy, amplifying energy. Um, for example, rose quartz is like, it amplifies compassion. Um, and as far as when it comes to crystals and everything, I have a book that I look at for different, um, practices and what they are meaning for. So I'm constantly studying crystals. Okay. So that's another tool and this will be on your PDF. Don't worry. Now I have like all these and like a ton more crystals, but they each hold a little meaning to me as far as what I'm wanting to do that day. Right. What do I need help with? And this is where the spiritual, the spiritual side comes in. Um, you know, as far as, um, having some help besides just, you know, and that's really what it is. That's what we're doing. And this is Peridot. I love Peridot. And then Blue Lace Agate is for my throat chakra. And I love that one. You guys know this helps me speak my truth, show up and express myself, all of that stuff. Okay. And then I have the singing bowl, right? This is, you guys know that I love this one. And this actually is, um, it helps with mindfulness. This helps to get your focus. So if Susie, if you watch this, um, I mean, I'll, ta I'll actually tag you in it, but this helps you focus on one thing at a time. So here, I'll go ahead and play it for you. So you see what I mean? And you want to have both feet on the floor, have your hand flat. Okay. And then you're just going to do that and then start going around. And it really goes with your energy. So you want to go slow. And it's really difficult to not focus on that. <laughs> so you definitely want to focus on that. I'm actually going to invite her right now. Um, here, hold on. Where is... I'm going to invite Susie right now. Just because I want her to feel good today. And I know she said something earlier, so I'm going to definitely... Okay, here we go. So, oh wait, where is... There's Megan. Let me go ahead and just invite these people. <laughs> even though I was already on today. Okay. Anyway, so, and this is going to be really quick. So that you can get this on Amazon for like $35. It was like 30 bucks, or you can probably go to a, um, you know, a shop around. And then we have this right here. It is, um, anointing oil and this is from divination creation. I think this has frankincense in it, but what I like to do before lives and before I'm about to talk to somebody or a coaching call, I just put some in my hand and it's the smell of it. So I'm using my senses. So you want to use your senses um, to, to help facilitate that higher vibration when you're sitting to do some self coaching. Okay. And I love it. So then you just smell it and it's amazing. And she put little crystals in this. There's like little tiny crystals in there. I love it. So cute. Okay. And then the next one is my pendulum. So we have a pendulum, so you can have a pendulum in any way that you can just have something something um, heavy on a, on a um, thing, a string. And it's Susie, so I came back on to show tools that I use in my self-coaching that has helped me reach these to raise my vibration. And I just showed about when it comes to mindfulness and overthinking, 
Um, and the reason I'm, I invited you to is because you did say you were the one that interacted when I was on earlier. So I want to make sure that I answer your questions. Um, but I use this. So for my, for getting focused, cause I have some ADD. Okay. And so what I do is I use this cause it's almost impossible not to focus on this, um, when you're doing it. And so just do that. Make sure your hand is flat and you just, and this also clears your energy, but it, you can't really, you know, it's even hard to talk <laughs> when I'm doing this, but so that helps with mindfulness. And then I was talking about anointing oil and then my crystals. Um, these things are just, you'll either you are attracted to them. If you feel a calling to like, just like studying crystals, then go do it, please. <laughs> because it's amazing. This is my favorite for self-expression and trusting blue lace agate. Okay. And then, oh, right here. So a book, this self-meditation book was the first, this was the thing that introduced me to to really starting to self-coach. So when I sit down to do any type of ritual or self-coaching is what I call it now, um, is with this book also. It's got like med little meditations, affirmations, um, tips, quotes, wake up calls for peace and serenity. So even when I, when I was working at syndicate, I would go out on my lunch break and I would read this. Like now it's like falling apart. I think this is my second one, but, um, but yeah, it's amazing. This is a huge, this is an amazing tool to facilitate that, um, to get that energy shaking up, right? To get that transformation started as far as being able to reach a state. And again, it's sitting with intention to feel better, right? And you're sitting with intention to heal and to manifest whatever you said, Susie, earlier, you're talking about manifesting. So if you're sitting to manifest, it starts with your vibration, and I want to kind of, I want to add that in. Like it starts with your vibration. That's how we manifest is to attract what we are. And so that and it's the easiest way to get started is by on yourself. Right? So, um, okay. So I think that's it. As far as with the pendulum real quick, what I use this for is to clear my chakras and to seek guidance, um, when I need it, as far as like, um, you know, if I, if I have a decision to make and I'm having a hard time, sometimes I'll ask this because this is connected. This has like little, it connects, um, there's like micro muscles like in your fingers and it connects to your subconscious mind. And so this is connected to your mind and, and the way that you can test this is like, this one is for me, like this one is, um, programmed to my energy. And so I can say, or I can say pendulum. <sighs> is my root chakra balanced? And it is because it's starting to turn. See it start to turn. And it's starting to turn clockwise. So it's literally like clearing out any stuck energy that's in my root chakra. Um, also, so with my sacral and I just keep going up or I'll ask, you know, a question and just see what it does. Just play with it. Like you don't even have to be really too serious if you don't want at first, just to kind of play with it. Okay. One of my clients doesn't even like to use, she does cause she uses Oracle cards and cause that's the, gives her the best guidance. And so that's the last one to use, to get Oracle cards just to kind of get a hint of what to do. Okay. So there's some tools for you. If you have any more, um, also like incense, candles, um, what else, but, uh, you know, having a, a pin, having plants, bringing nature into your space. Um, also having a whiteboard <laughs> back here that helps also having a little, like these little figurines. Like I really love, this is like one of my, I love the elephant. Um, but I never identified with it as a, my spirit guide. So anyway, um, just do whatever, find whatever calls to you. Okay. All right, you guys have a good day. I'm leaving now for sure.